Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Glowing Over 40. My name is Erica Keating. I'm a mom of two kids. I work full time. I am a breast cancer survivor, and I'm here to talk about all things after 40, including survivorship, makeup, uh, beauty tips, stuff with my kids, you name it. We're going to talk about it. Today, we're going to talk about my morning skincare routine, and this is immediately post-cancer. I've been using these products, some of them I've been using um, since pre-cancer, uh, PC, but uh, some of them I've just picked up and started using post-cancer. And so this is a super easy morning regimen. Some is kind of spendy, some is kind of middle of the road. Uh, you decide what would work for your skin. So first up in the morning, when I wake up, I um, I always, always, always in the in the evening, wash off my makeup and I put on uh, some kind of product. I am alternating between um, retinol, lactic acids, or just moist, really heavy moisture at nighttime. And so in the morning when I wake up, super important, I do not wash my face again with face wash because I haven't gotten any dirt on my face, presumably in my bed from my pillowcase. Um, so what I do is I rinse my face every morning with just warm water to kind of get any sort of excess, um, you know, product or oil or what have you off of my skin, but I do not wash again because for me, I find that my skin will start to dry out and it is drying out more and more, especially post-cancer as we have worked really hard to take all of the hormones out of my body. So I do not wash again in the morning. Washing too much will lead skin to dry out. At least that's my experience with my skin. So what I do, rinse with warm water, pat dry, and then I go over it with a, um, a toner. And so what I'm using right now is uh, a Shiseido product. It's revitalizing treatment softener. This product smells so good. Um, honestly, all of the Shiseido stuff that I use smells so good. Um, a really good friend of mine turned me on to this to the, the line um, a little while back. So I just kind of go all over my face, kind of rub, rub, pat, pat. Oh, that fragrance is so good. I do um, rub, pat over my, just kind of pat over my uh, eyelids, down the neck, kind of just get everything freshened up. Honestly, it smells so good. You're gonna wanna put it mm, all over anyway. Okay, let that dry for a minute. I usually just sort of fan myself. I actually have a hand fan that I use too. It's next to me in the bathroom. I don't have it handy right now, but just kind of let that go and dry. It's pretty much there. It feels so good. It smells wonderful. And then I follow this up with a product by SkinCeuticals. It's called CE Ferulic. This product is amazing. Uh, the, the physician's assistant at my dermatologist's office actually turned me onto this product because I was going there for IPL therapy, which is, um, you know, all the sun damage on my face. And so she turned me onto this product, um, especially because I was, you know, just into my forties at that time. I've been using this product for, I'd say two years now. And, uh, she was like, Erica, it's a super spendy price tag, but it's worth every penny. It's going to help with that discoloration. It's going to help with fine lines and little wrinkles. It's a really amazing product. And it and it really is. Um, let's see. This is one fluid ounce spendy, but um, I use three drops out of the dropper. So when you take it out, you can see. So just squeeze out three drops. It's not a ton. And I just kind of pat that all over my face. Make sure it gets spread kind of everywhere because I want this stuff to soak in. Um, and even though it's pretty expensive, I want to say it's like 180 bucks or something. I'll post a link. Um, I, I get it on sale. I buy it at Derm store and I wait for sales or usually around Christmas, they'll do like a package deal with it. And so a bottle of this typically will last me about nine months, which I find totally worth it. So if you can afford the price tag, I highly recommend. I'm using three, three drops a day. And then I follow that with another SkinCeuticals product called Hydrating B5 Gel. 
and uh, this goes a long way. Uh, it was actually recommended by SkinCeuticals. I decided to try it because they advertised to me and a bit, but I think I got a discount when I bought the bundle. So um, it it it's formulated to go with the uh, the CE Ferulic product. So on this guy, and this is much less expensive also, by the way. So on this guy, same thing, little tube, little goes a long way. I only use one drop, that's it. And you'll be surprised by how kind of smooth this stuff is. You just kind of smooth it all around, get it, get it everywhere that that CE Ferulic touched kind of comes behind it, helps to lock it in. And this stuff um, dries pretty quickly actually. So like for example, it's pretty much already dry, um, kind of feels tacky as you're spreading it around. So, you know, it's nice and adhering to the skin. Okay. And then once I'm pretty satisfied that that is on and dried out or uh, and adhering well, I follow this up with a Shiseido product. This is a Shiseido Uplifting and Firming Day Cream and it's got a broad spectrum SPF 30 in it because for me, I have to have the sunscreen. It's a non-starter without it. it. Smells so good. I wish I could transmit this through YouTube um, or through the internet, but this stuff smells so amazing. I forgot my little applicator, but I, I use, it'll come with a little plastic applicator, which of course is in my bathroom right now. Um, but I, I'm kind of on the liberal side with this stuff because I want to make sure I get it everywhere, both for the moisture and for the SPF. And so um, I just start, start on the cheeks, work my way up. As you know, when you're putting this stuff on, you kind of want to give long strokes, you know, work it in, make sure you get it everywhere. And um, go back for a second coat, honestly, if you feel like you might need it, which I feel like I do. So let me just get a little more around that nose, especially places that get sun. Oh, coming up through the neck because I know when I apply my makeup in a few, I, I take my makeup down my neck a little bit. So I want this to be a good base for that too. Oh, so good. It smells so good. I can't, mm, I can't underestimate or overstate oh, how good that fragrance is. Um, I'll post a link to this one too. It's a pretty big jar. Oh, it says 1.7 ounces. Um, so I use this pretty liberally and I want to say that hmm, it's probably lasts me like five months, six months. Uh, I guess it kind of depends on how liberal I am. In the summer, I'm going to use more of it. So in the summer, it's going to go quicker. In the winter, I don't know. Um, actually, in the winter, I'm using other stuff for moisture also because my skin will like super dry out. That's a different video. But a lot of these basic products are there. So, and then last but certainly not least, eye cream. And right now, I've just got this little sample of the Shiseido uh, Wrinkle Resist 24 Intense Eye Contour Cream because I ran out of my little jar and I'm waiting on it uh, to come. So I just reordered again, fragrance. Oh, I don't know about you ladies, but man, if something smells good, oh, that sucks me in. I just love product with good fragrance. I know fragrance is kind of out right now. People are calling that sort of artificial. Everyone wants clean beauty, I get it, but oh, you know what? If something smells good, to me, it just makes me feel happy in the morning. And I'm a morning person, actually. I usually roll, I shouldn't say roll, I bounce out of bed, bounce out of bed. Um, I go to bed early, get up early. And I love doing my skincare and makeup in the morning. Just take this down to your marionette lines, put it up here. I don't know about you, but these crazy lines on my forehead are driving me nuts. So if you have any excess product, just kind of pat, pat, pat. Oh man, yeah. Anyway, so when I'm putting on my skincare, when it smells good, it just it just makes me even more cheerful in the morning time, being a morning person. And that is morning skincare routine. That's the base. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be more about um, makeup and other things to follow. And if you have any questions, comments, please 
post them uh, down below. I'll respond and I will post links to these products um, so that you can check them out. Thanks all.